Hi, and welcome to this new feature on the Audrain Museum Network, Ask Alex. Ask Alex! In these segments, you'll hear from Alex Cull, our museum coordinator, and the things that people ask him when they come to visit the Audrain Museum. I think you'll find it really enjoyable and a little surprising. <laughs> Hi, my name is Alex Cull, and I'm the museum coordinator here at the Audrain Automobile Museum, and I'm usually the first face you see when you walk into the museum. I get a lot of questions here, so I'm here to answer some of them for you. Let's go into the gallery. Welcome to the gallery. The first question I usually get is, what is the Audrain Museum? We are a 501c3 not-for-profit with a rotating exhibit. The main goal of the Audrain Automobile Museum is to preserve, celebrate, and share automotive history. And we do that with a series of exhibits, all with a very specific theme. That means every three months, we change all the cars, all the art, all the quotes you see with a different theme. Currently, we have land yachts going on. 10 years ago, the building was purchased by the current owners and restored to the state you see now. It was supposed to be office spaces and retail as originally intended, but they decided to make a car museum instead. Another question I get a lot was, who was Audrain or where does the name come from? Mr. Audrain was a French art and antique dealer who built this building back in 1902 as a headquarters for his business and also a retail and office space for other businesses. Let's go to the other side of the museum and check out some of the cars over there. Another question I get is, who owns these cars? Are these Jay Leno's cars? No, they are not. But we are lent cars to fill out our exhibitions from the Audrain collections and from other museums and private owners around the world. But Jay's a close friend of the museum and he does a lot of videos with us and Donald. So we appreciate that, and he's much funnier than I am. Another question I get is, are there any cars upstairs? So there's no cars upstairs, there's just offices. Unless you want to do paperwork, you should stay down here. Now let's go over the other side and check out where the cars come into the museum. So another question I get is, do these cars run and drive? Yes, they do. Some of them better than others, but we try to drive them as often as possible because that's good for the cars. And when we bring them into the museum, we bring them in right through here. Those doors open up and we have ramps that go down. Once we drive the cars up, we push them from there. Now, follow me this way. So, people ask me all the time, can I sit in the cars? Unfortunately, you can't, but you can get close enough to drool on them, but don't do that either. We got one more question for you. Let's go outside. So one of the questions I get all the time here is, where can I park? There's free two-hour parking on Bellevue and plenty of parking on the surrounding streets. During the busy season, you may have to walk for a little bit, but it's definitely worth it. Anyways, that's the first episode of Ask Alex. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Make sure to like and subscribe. See you on the next one.